Hello, my bendy babies. Um, so if you do the um, online contortion and backbend classes with me, you will know that we don't often run through the cool down together in class. Um, and as I always explain, that's because I know that a lot of you do like to carry on your backbend training after class to practice different things, take pictures and stuff like that. And it's not great for your spine to be kind of cooling down after an hour of bending and then go straight back into bending. So I thought rather than keep on giving you just the instructions in a list at the end of the class and kind of letting you go away and do it in your own time, I thought I'd actually just record this video so that you can still follow along and see my beautiful makeup free potato lockdown face. So for this cool down, you are going to need a yoga block. Um, now this cool down is suitable both for um, the mixed level backbends class and the more advanced level contortion class. I would just say that if you are doing the contortion class, um, you might find it beneficial to stay in these positions just a little bit longer than we're going to do for this um, to get kind of a little bit more like cool down time out. So... Um, where we are going to start, we're going to have our yoga block nearby so that we don't have to fanny about for it. But you're going to lie onto your mat. I'm going to pull up my trousers so my bum doesn't come out. And you're going to take one leg, pull it up to your chest. Okay? You're just going to pull it in nice and tight and take a few breaths here. Okay, if you want a little bit more of a stretch, bring your chin to your chest. And start slowly rolling your head up to your knee. Now we don't want to put too much kind of work through your back at the moment, so feel free to pull with your arms to keep you up there. Okay, just take some breath. This is a cool down, so take the time to have a little bit of a, a chill out. Okay, come back down, pop that leg away, and grab the other one. Pull that up. Just a little bit of time here. And again, if you want, you can pull with your arms, tuck your chin to your chest, roll up nice and slow, just breathing here. Okay, coming down. Right, so I'm gonna use the same leg again so you can see what I'm doing because I should have done them the other way around. But we're gonna add a little gentle twist. Now, depending on what we've been doing in class, this might feel a little bit full on to start with. So just take it slow. You don't have to pull your knee all the way down straight away. Just relax it over. So we're gonna cuddle again, one knee up to the chest, and then keeping our shoulders on the floor, you're gonna take the opposite hand to the knee and just gently pull it over. Now, if we've been doing, like I said, something a little bit more intense, then it might be a little bit tight to put it straight to the floor. So you can get your hand and pop it underneath your knee and rest there. Okay, if you're feeling like you can twist a little bit more, you can grab your yoga block conveniently nearby, bring it down and again, try and lower your knee down. Now the shoulder's likely to come up a little bit. That's okay, just try and keep it like further down you don't want to kind of roll over like this okay so again just relaxing here letting the body kind of unwind a little bit and then if you're happy with the knee on the yoga block if you want you can take it away roll that knee down to the floor nice deep breaths here oh my god i love twisting my spine back the other way Rolling back, and let's do the other side. I'm just gonna show you my bum, sorry. So pull the other knee up, and again, I've got my hand ready to catch my knee, pop my elbow on the floor, just to rest my knee on, so that we're not in like, too big a twist straight away. Just a little breathing, letting the body get used to it, because it's probably forgotten how to do anything but bend, that's normal. Okay, when that's feeling a little bit better, grab your trusty block, pop it down on the floor, see if you can roll the knee gently over onto it. Oh, 
and sticky on my yoga block. That's lovely. Just breathing, just hanging out. And again, when you're feeling ready, you can take that block away and just roll that knee down just a little bit further to the floor. Okay, coming back. Now, just before we start like increasing the back bend, we're gonna have a little stretch through our neck. So you can come up nice and gently. And again, take this slow. Don't like shock your body by just tugging things around. It's been busy. So you're gonna gently pull your chin to your chest. And if you want a little bit more, you can bring your hands round onto the back of your neck and just gently drop the elbows, adding like a little bit of pressure here. Keep breathing. Oh, one of my socks is inside out. Huh. Great. Can remember how to bend, can't remember how to dress myself. Okay, when that's feeling good, you can come up and you're gonna bring your ear to shoulder on one side. That same side hand is gonna come around and again, just gently dropping the elbow to add a little bit of pressure. If you'd like a little bit more of a stretch here, take the other hand and bring it around behind your back. It's gonna help you drop that shoulder down and just stretch through a little bit more of the side of your neck. Just like awkwardly staring at myself in the camera. <laughs> okay, and when you're happy, you're gonna keep your head kind of on this plane here, but you're gonna turn your face down like you're trying to sniff your armpit. And again, hands kind of more towards the back of the head. Just gentle pull here. You know you've had a good session if you can feel this under your shoulder blade. <laughs> okay, and again coming up and let's do the other side. So ear to shoulder, hand over the top. Again, if you want a little bit more, take the other hand, bring it around behind your back to help you drop this shoulder down. Stretching is a lot more fun when you're here with me chatting away. Okay, and again, keep your head on this plane, turn your face down as if you're gonna sniff your armpit, readjust the hand. Nice, okay, and you can gently roll side to side. Okay, let's go back to reopening all through like your hips and especially like your lower back and stuff. So again, yoga block nearby going to come onto our backs and we're going to take both of our knees, cuddle them up to our chest and again we're going to curl our heads up so you can use your arms to pull with this and see if you can pull in nice and tight here and if you want you can have a little rock side to side like you're a bug stuck on its back. Stretching is very sexy as I'm sure you're all aware. Okay. Now, this is where the yoga block comes in. So if you've been doing the contortion class, then, um, or if you're um, not a student, hey, you should be a student, you'll have fun. Sun is in my eyes. Um, then you might find if you're a little bit newer to backbending that you get, sometimes you get little headaches, which feel a little bit like brain freeze. Um, so if you've been doing like a more of an intense like contortion session, you might want to pause this video kind of during the stretches and hold it for a little bit longer in each of these positions, and that will help this headache melt away. So we're gonna take our yoga block, and we're gonna put it on this like short fat setting, and we're gonna put it lengthways so that this long side is going along our hips. Okay, so you wanna make sure that this isn't in your lower back. That's super important. If you have this here in your lower back and your bum's hanging off, this is actually like a lower back flexibility stretch, and we don't want that. 
Okay, so make sure it's under your hips and you probably want to grab around the block to make sure it's secure as you start moving around. Okay, so you're going to take the feet nice and wide and then you're going to drop the knees in next to each other. Okay, you can also, once you make sure your block's secure, you can pop your hands out or up by your head. And again, she's going to hold this for a few breaths here. It's going to start kind of opening everything back out again. If you feel like your bum is hanging off and your lower back is bending, then like I said, readjust the block. Mine is not. I just have a lot of butt cheek right now. <laughs> it's just overhanging. I've been growing my lockdown booty. Okay, once this starts feeling nice and open here again, if you want, you can pause this video and hold this for a little bit longer. Totally up to you. What you're going to do is walk your feet back in. Again, you can hold onto the block for stability to make sure it's not going to rock around and make you fall off. You're going to bring one knee up, okay, adjust the block if you need to, and then slowly bring the other block up. And again, once you're sure that this block is not going to flop over and scare the life out of you, you can move your hands around. Okay, keep breathing here. Let your belly button kind of fall into your spine. Not literally. If you want as well, you can straighten the legs too. Okay, if you are straightening the legs and you're doing this because you've got a little bit of a contortion headache, the other thing that I'd recommend you doing is you can turn your knees in so they're facing each other. Okay, again, if you have got um, a little bit more of a headache, you can also do this against the wall. So if you have your bum against the wall and your legs running along it, you can get a belt, tie that around your thighs here. And I know that sounds super weird. And if you have housemates or people that you live with, they are gonna look at you like you're a little bit strange. But if you pull the belt tight here, it's gonna help you internally rotate your thighs, which again is gonna help open all through your hips and all through your lower back. Nice, okay. So let's take the block out for a moment. I'm gonna move down so that I don't end up in the fridge. Now we're gonna flip the block, okay? So now we're flipping it so it's on its long side, so it's nice and tall. And again, you want this bit here, this top section, to run parallel, okay? So that you're feeling nice and balanced. Now it might be a little bit more of a stretch to get up there, but we're gonna pop that in the same place, okay? So that this, it's now like tall and against our hips. Again, make sure you're holding on nice and tight, either around the bottom of the yoga block or around the middle to make sure it's not going to fall over. Again, you're going to pull one knee up and the other knee up. And again, this should be making your hips tuck under. Okay, this isn't like a, like a sexy little handstand where your like, crotch is hanging off and your bum's hanging off. This is helping you open out through this lower back. So you should feel like your hips are tucked under. Again, if you want, you can straighten the legs out. That is not necessary. And again, once you feel like this is opening back out, what you're gonna do is bring your legs down. You're gonna hold onto the block for a little bit of support, and then you're gonna push your elbows down into the floor, push the block down with your hands, and you're going to bring your knees to your face. So this is something that we affectionately call stinky egg. Stick your butt up at the sky and you're going to very slowly try and bring your knees down either side of your face. If you can get your feet on the floor, that is fantastic. If you can get your knees on the floor, that is also fantastic. You can take this nice and slow. If you're struggling to get your feet down, again, you can throw a yoga block this way <laughs> in my fridge and pop your feet on said yoga block wherever it is, so it's not as far away. Okay, don't turn your head side to side. Do not be looking at me, look at the ceiling and just relaxing these knees down and so your head. If you want, you can move the booty around, see if you can get a little bit more of a stretch. Okay, and when you're done, gently, slowly rolling back up. There you go, you are done. You are cooled down, stretched out. 
Um, I hope this has been helpful. If it's not, sorry, I tried. <laughs> and obviously, as normal, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, if you um, are watching this and you are not a student, like I said, you can be. Um, the web address is bookwen.com slash Anna Frost. Um, we do back bends, we do splits, we do contortion, we do all kinds of things. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone. Have a nice time, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon.